So, I just had a hamburger, and it was amazing. It was one of those hamburgers where it's like bun and cheese that was melted on a toasted bun. So it's between the hamburger itself and a toasted bun. So the cheese is melted inside of it, like between the two. And then on top of the hamburger, there's a fried egg. Then there's ketchup. There's another toasted bun. And it was godlike. It was actually amazing. Oh, and I also had this random battle. Pretty nice. Pretty win. I don't play random battles. I was just doing it to test the theme. So if you're wondering why we don't have a comic kill as our background like we normally do, it's because apparently stylish wasn't working and it crapped out on me. So I just put this random background image of Mako saying when people die of blood loss, that means they die. And I think that's perfect for Pokemon Showdown. So today we're going to be using a team I just made a couple minutes ago. It's called Sorry You Don't Want a Parados. I know, puns. Puns are great. Um, we're using Mega Venusaur on this team. Nice and bulky. I think this is Bold Nature version. The star of the team, Bounce Gyarados, which I love been, I've loved to use nowadays. We have Garchomp, which is just normal bulky Garchomp. We have Wendy the Ladius, which is going to have Healing Wish. So if Gyarados doesn't get a chance to sweep the first time around, we might have a second chance. We have Weavile, because Weavile is very good nowadays, especially with the Priority Ice Shards. And we have Romero, not Romeo, Romero, the Togekiss, whose job is basically just a Thunder Wave thing, gets up Paralyzed from Mega Gyarados, so that's a team builder. Let's actually just jump into a battle. When people die of blood loss, that does mean they die. Mako Mankan Shoko. Mankan Shoko. There we go. And okay, we're going to this guy's team. He has a Defogger of Latios. Um, I don't like his Ferrothorn. Ooh, this doesn't look too good. Um, he doesn't have a, anything that really takes Thunder Waves. Everything on his team, other than Lando gets Thunder Wave and kind of crippled by it. Well, nothing really wants to take a Thunder Wave most times anyway. Uh, let's see here. I'm just hoping he doesn't lead off with this thing, this thing. A lot of things, actually. Let's, um... Hmm. Let's lead off with the Romero. And see what he does. He does help with Kiram B. Um, what do I have for a Kiram B? Not a damn thing. Um, <laughs> let's Thunder Wave it. Hopefully, he doesn't use Ice Beam or anything like that, or Fusion Bolt. And we'll get the Thunder Wave off. And hopefully, that'd be nice. Ice Beam, and yeah, that's gone. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, that was a pretty bad lead. Um, doesn't have anything for a Draco. Let's um go in the Weavile. I don't think he's Scarf. He's like he's Life Orb right here. It actually shows right there. So ah, he's Life Orb. And let's the Slow Kick. I'm not making plays right now. I'm, <laughs> I see, I seen this Kiram Bean. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> uh, Metagross. You can catch that Low Kick, and you can take a shit ton of damage from that Low Kick as well. Uh, let's go into. Let's go strain the bulky Chomp actually, because he's probably gonna Bullet Punch or something like that. Bullet punch, I take nothing and he takes a shit ton. So his mega um mega growth mega metagross is almost dead, and I can just put up a stealth rocks. As he's gonna switch into Kiram B, I am perfectly okay with that. Not really, because Kiram B, I have to switch in Death Fodder now. Um So who wants to die? Kinda need Weavile. Weavile does a lot for his team. Let's see here. Honestly, don't need Garchomp anymore because Garchomp did his thing. Garchomp got the Stealth Rocks up, and now we're already down two Pokemon. This Kira B is just tearing us a new one. Um, <laughs> Jesus, Jesus Christ. Let's see here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's go on the Weavile, and I think a knockoff should do enough damage to this thing where he's probably gonna knock him out or kill him from Stealth Rocks. Uh, Knockoff will also take out Latios. So you want to switch out on a low kick. We'll do a nice damn amount of damage to Ferrothorn. If he switches into Lando, Knockoff, whatever item he's holding. If he switches into. Yeah, Knockoff's the best play right now. He's probably going to go into Keldeo. Lando T. Lando T is his switch into a oh, Weavile. Let's get that Choice Scarf off there. Hey, called that Bluff? Man, called that Choice Scarf. Now let's get this Ice Punch going on. Take out that Lando T. There we go. Get that Lando T out of here. Keldeo Resolute comes out, and I do have a Venusaur, so let's just go straight into that Venusaur. If he's just substituting Keldeo, that could be a bad thing if he's going to switch right back out into Latios. Uh, let's see. Uh. Okay, so I actually really do freaking need this Weavile. Uh. This guy doesn't seem like the type to just 
He makes plays that aren't needed, so he's probably going to stay in side shock if he wants to do that. That's perfectly fine. I'm not going to risk that. As he's actually going to defog to get my hazard gone, and that sludge bomb did 40%. That did nothing. Uh, you know, we're feeling real. Wait. Okay, yeah, we're feeling real out here. Feeling real. Let's get this knockoff off him. Let's get rid of this Latios, because that's another threat. Life Orb Latios gone, and Weavile's putting the team on his back right now. Mega Metagross comes out, and... What do we have for that? Let me tell you, we don't have a damn thing for that. Let's go into Gyarados. So we can get the Intimidate off. If he wants to use Zen Headbutt or anything like that, that's perfectly fine. Bullet Punch. Not gonna do too much to a... To a Gyarados. Because we got a Parados. Um... Okay, yeah, I do have Hidden Power Fire. I thought I was Hidden Power Fighting for a second. I was kind of I was like, wait, what? Can't have no Hidden Power Fire out here. Um, if I DD right now, only thing stopping me is this Ferrothorn. So let's DD. I don't think he's going to have Thunder Punch. Someone has Thunder Punch. Ferrothorn comes out as I do get Dragon Dance up. So I'm at plus one, plus one. And let's use the Substitutes just in case he has Thunder Wave or Leech Seed. Stealth Rocks, that's perfectly fine. That's perfectly, perfectly fine. Let's use another Dragon Dance another behind the Substitute. And what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Probably that's Gyro Ball, actually. Yeah, Gyro Ball does a ton now that we're at plus two, and he's not um, intimidated either. So let's just use Bounce, because we need damage on this Ferrothorn. One way or another. And he's just Power Whip. I'm getting my health back slowly but surely. Um, bounces a lot, but it does paralyze him. Power Whip does 50% to me. And Bounce should take him out if I do another Bounce, so let's go with that. And he, at this point, does not have a switch in for Bounce, so Power Whip, not gonna do it, not gonna do the trick. Bounce should take him out from there, let's go Bounce. Ferrothorn is gone, and Gyarados putting the team on its back right now, because man, I got a Parados. He's gonna go into Kiram B. Um, I'm at plus two, a Bounce... Kiram plus two might kill Kiram B. I'm not sure. Kiram has decent bulk, actually. So let's use Bounce. Hopefully I hit. I hit, and Kiram B is gone. Dang, Gyarados. Because, man, I got a Parados, and he, he forfeits GG, man. See, I, I wasn't even playing that well, and Gyarados just, just putting the team on his back like that. Oh, man. You gotta love a Gyarados. You gotta love freaking Bounce Gyarados. Oh, man, this guy got... Confagrigus, Confla- oh. I see that Scizor, and I see Setup Fodder for Gyarados. I see Ferrothorn, I see Setup Fodder for Gyarados. So, I even see this, what's what's his face? Confagrigus? And even that's pretty good Setup Fodder for me, so. Uh, let's see here. He has the frickin' Steel types, a lot of frickin' Steel types. Uh, what do we want to do? He has a Spinner and Starmie. Let's go with Weavile. If he wants to lead off with Confagrigus, that is fine. We can get a knockoff off on this thing. And Healing Wish, if I definitely, if I need it, will take away a burn. So let's go with knockoff. He's, pr if he, he'll probably switch into something like Ferrothorn from here. Or Clefable. I would switch into Clefable. Because the knockoff, if it doesn't kill for Confagrigus, it's going to do a crap ton. I'm a Weavile. Or if he's Mega Scizor, I would switch into Scizor as well, because that thing got free Mega Evolution off. But I just want to use this knockoff. It's the first turn. I don't want to see what he's going to do. I don't know if he's going to predict himself. Let's let's just see. Let us just see. I'm going to take a drink of apple juice. It's going to be drinking of apple juice. Mm -hmm. Whew. Gotta love me some apple juice. Let's start that timer. You can't be sitting here all day, man. We can't be sitting here all day. Battle timers now on, and after players will automatically lose when the time is up. Requested by Caro Caro Studio himself. And I am just so glad to be recording again. I tried to record a showdown session like a week ago, and all I was getting was stall, and it was so boring. I didn't even want to upload it. But the, it was the narration was bad, the battles were bad, and this guy's got to hurry up. And ooh, come on, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Come on, good, good news bears. Good news, bears. I think we got a shady penguin fan on the line. Good news, bears. Okay, come on. Come on, man. Just gotta make a play. Just gotta make a play. Like a flavor flavor. Come on. Come on. 
There we go. He goes in the Pharaoh Thorn. That knockoff did a decent amount of damage as I'm knocking off his leftovers. And I honestly feel pretty dang safe to low kick. And he lives. Okay, yeah, dang. Don't use Shire Ball. Don't use Shire Ball. Don't use Shire Ball. Okay, we're good. We good? We good? Crisis averted. Let's use Ice Shard. Take him out. Nice share takes him out. There we go. I had to reveal like half my move said by me. That's all. That's perfectly fine. As long as that Pharaoh Thorn is gone, he is gonna send in Scizor from here, and I don't want to set up yet, honestly, just because the rocks are there. And I think Garchomp is Garchomp or Venusaur. Do I want to send out here? Garchomp's probably my best um, play right here, because if he uses anything, he's gonna take some damage. So he goes into the Confagrigus, that is perfectly fine with me because if he's going to go Confagrigus, let's see what we can do about that. He's going to burn something, I know that. I mean, it's completely obvious he's going to burn something. He might use Shadow Ball or something like that. Probably he's got Hex. Um, I don't want to get up my Stealth Rocks because I don't feel like they're going to be useful yet. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I honestly don't care uh, if Togekiss gets, um, what's it called, Willowed. I don't care if Togekiss gets burned. Romero, he got burned. Okay, so let's just use Thunder Wave. I feel like he's going to be some kind of weird hex set. But he's fully paralyzed, so we might not even get to know. And now that he's fully paralyzed, I'm going to go into Latias, get these rocks off the field. I don't care if he wants to use hex. It's not doing too, too much. Let's use the Defog as his rocker and... His rocker in the form of Ferrothorn is gone. I'm not sure if he has a different rocker, so. Let's drop a Draco. Does a decent amount. Not too bad, not too bad at all, not too bad. He's gonna Willow. And, I mean, from there, we can just freaking Healing Wish up our full buster over here. So, let's just do that. Healing Wish. Get up out, what you doing? And he gets fully paralyzed. So, I'm feeling a little bit sorry for this man, but we got Weavile. Get our health all the way back up the phone. We are exerting our pressure, but it's going to be gone for Mummy in a second. Unless he's running a Mega Scissor, which he's probably going to switch into that. Or he wants to switch into Fable to take this knockoff. It is perfectly fine as well. Fable does come out. Does a decent amount of damage. And we get rid of the leftovers. So, I mean, it's a win-win scenario. It's all good. It's all good in the hood. Let's go with um, Romero. Take that Moonblast and... Let's just fire off a nice, powerful Thunder Wave. Is he going to go back into Confagrius? I mean, if you want to do that, that's perfectly fine, my buddy. My buddy, my boy. My boy. Let's go use Roost. Let's use Roost. Get our health back. Hex is doing about 38%. But, I mean, he is paralyzed. And I'm a Togekiss, so Air Slash doing 22%. He's fully paralyzed. Um, he's gonna he's getting a little bit of health back. Um, he's definitely gonna win this scenario, but I just want to do damage So he's gonna go into scissor. We're gonna critical hit on the air slash Takes it down to 50% and we do have a bulky guard chomp. So let's just go into bulky guard chomp if you want to use any attacks Or roost you can also roost as well and let's get our stealth rocks up Because he has a star me and I forgot that he had a star me. So let's go Let us go. Let's go uh, I'm gonna sack Romero off here. I don't need Romero anymore. Ice Beam, that's nice and dandy. Nice and dandy. Um, <laughs> could go into Venusaur. He's probably he probably use a Psychic type attack. If he does, I guess that's good for him. If not, then okay. Uh, let's see here. See, I'm gonna go into Weavile. And how much does helps Seventy eight. I'm gonna predict the switch into Clef, because I don't think he has any reason to switch, uh, stay in here, because he knows Weavile is faster than Starmie. So I'm just gonna switch. I predict him to switch into Clef, and I'm gonna use Ice Punch. Ice Punch, 37%, not doing enough. No, no. Ho, ho, ho. Um. I mean, I'm just gonna stay in Nice Punch again, get the freeze, get the- Oh no. Soft-boiled. This cleft's gonna be a problem. This cleft is gonna be a huge problem. Why does my team have nothing for this cleft? 
soft boil. At least I can get my Mega Evolution off, which is something necessary. So I don't expect him to. I expect him to switch into like what's your thing's face called again? Heatran. Going oh, your oh, Aries is gonna come in. I'm gonna Mega Evolve and get my health back with a Giga Drain. Gets a critical hit. He's down to 13 health. And I'm just going to Giga Drain again because he should die from another attack plus rocks. And Cathagoras does go down as well. So right now we're two for two. He's going to have this Heatran come in. And I have no idea what set this Heatran could be. Let's see here. I don't have a switch in either. So nothing really wants to be burned. I'm going to go in with Garchomp. He's going to allow a plume. Probably going to get the burn at that. Yes, he did. Yes, he does. That's booty, booty, booty. Don't like to get the burns over here. Let's go with Earthquake because he's probably going to go with Clefable. And that's going to do 14%, which is doing absolutely nothing. Which we essentially have to go back into Thickums. Take that Moonblast. And now. Hmm. Let's, let's try something. What do I want to do here? Let's go into Gyarados. And I want to just go Fable switch out into like Scizor or something like that, or Heatran. Hopefully, uh, Gyarados is faster than Heatran, and I can get a substitute up, and hopefully the substitute doesn't break from a Lava Plume. If the substitute doesn't break from one Lava Plume, then, or if he switches out here, I think I honestly win. Or he could have a Taunt Heatran. That works too. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> and now he knows I have a sub to Gyarados, so that kind of sucks. That kind of sucks a lot. Let's use Waterfall. As he's gonna go straight into Clef, I mean, you can do that. It's not gonna. Let's use Waterfall again. I wanna get the flinch. Come on, get the flinch. Get the flinch, Thunder Wave. Nope. So, this game's not looking good at all anymore. I lost my win condition because I got greedy there, and. I mean, Clefable is a thing, but it's probably connect. It would probably. Uh. Man, why do you have to paralyze me like that? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna forfeit. Good game. I, I can't do anything. I don't want. I, it's not even that I couldn't do anything. I just didn't want to battle that game anymore because it was just getting annoying. Why is Clef Clefable such an annoying Pokemon? And we battle enough. This is like the fourth Clefable, the third Clefable in a row. Was the, did the first team have Clefable as well? God dang. To Dick. Whoops. To Dick. Okay. Hello. What's a To Dick? I want to know what To Dick is. Um, let's see here. And everyone's running Kieran B now. Is Kieran B getting popular as well? So weird. It's like such a weird combination to get popular all of a sudden. Uh, let's just go on the Full Buster. Yes, he's gonna lead off with Starmie, which does mean I get a free knockoff on something. Yes, he's gonna bring in Clefable. Let's knock off this thing's lefties. Every Clefable has that lefties. That's just, that's just, that's just logic, man. That's just logic. You gotta have lefties on your Clefables. Let's go on the Venusaur. Tactical Chunder. I don't care if you use Thunder Wave on Venusaur. I mean, it sucks, but I mean, something you gotta do. It's gonna go on the B Drill. If only I used HP Fire there. Critical hit! Oh my god! Um, let's see. I mean, I can just go into Garchomp here. If he attacks me, he's gonna take 30%. So, U turn. There's 31% to me, but he's gonna do 30% to himself. Starmie's gonna come in. Let's see here. I honestly don't have much for a Starmie, to be honest. Let's, I'm gonna bait him. Let's go into Venusaur. Take the Ice Beam, super fast, but we have thick, um, thick, 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 thicks. Let's go into Full Buster. On his Magnezone. This thing is probably scarfed, though. And I definitely, definitely, definitely do need my Weaver. I'm not gonna take that chance. That is a chance I am not willing to take. Flash Cannon, yep. Okay. That was doing a little too much for my liking. Just a little too, too much. Just a little, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, I don't think I'm gonna get my rocks out this match. I don't get rocks up on anything, so... Let's fodder off Garchomp, so we're not getting rocks up on it. And let's see here. What do we do? Dang. I don't, honestly don't have a switch into that. 
I mean, I can go into Venusaur, try to get out a HP Fire, but I'm just going to Synthesis first off, because I want to get my health back. So I'm a Venusaur. This is bad. I'm not sure how I'm going to deal with this Magnezone. If it's Scarf, unless I catch it on the Switch with a Knock Off or something like that, I mean, I don't see how I'm taking down this Magnezone. We'll just have to see. We'll just have to see. I'm going to take another swig of Apple Juice, let me think. Oh. Oh. Oh, sugar. Apple juice is the best. There's a lot of sugar in it, so you shouldn't eat too much apple juice. Yes, I just meant to eat apple juice. Don't You can drink all the, one, all the apple juice you want. You can drink all of it. But just don't eat it. And you gotta make, you gotta make your plays keen for peen. You gotta make your plays. Get that synthesis up. Get back the full. Let's hit you up with the HP fire. Because, I mean, we have HP fire on this thing just for steel types. It's 43%. Uh, do we want to do that again? I'm a synthesis, so I feel like he was gonna switch out there, and I get fully paired. So that's perfectly, that's perfectly perfect. Just perfectly perfect right there. And let's hard switch into the Weavox. I don't think he's going. I think he's just gonna go over Stealth Rocks. And I get a free Ice Punch. This thing dies to Ice Punch. This thing's at 78 percent, so maybe I maybe take it with two. This thing will go down to Ice Punch. This thing can't switch in on Ice Punch plus a Low Kick. This thing would just get knocked off, and this thing will take a decent amount of damage from it, so... Ice Punch, get rid of this thing. Get rid of it right now, we'll take all that rough skin, rocky helmet, and life orb lose nearly half our health, but that Garchomp is down. And that's all that matters. Okay, so he brings in Kirum. I mean... This is definitely Scarfed. Are you Scarfed as well? Let's stay in to find out. Low Kick. He is Scarfed as well, that's... Wow. Wow. That just sucks. Yeah, the way he brought it in, I should have basically knew he was Scarf, but that just sucks. Let's use Default, get rid of that, and... Honestly, I just need the damage on this thing, so I'm going to use Psy Shock. Because we, we just need the damage on this thing at this point. When D's going to get fully parried. And... Damn it, let's just go with the Healing Wish now. Or, or not, or not. We might no need to do that. We do have freaking Togekiss over here. Is this man thinks he's gonna calm mind up on me? No, sir, Rebob. No. Thunder wave your ass. Everything's about thunder waving now. Like, I don't, uh I don't like that everything is thunder wave, essentially, now. No, like, the Pokemon's not a Pokemon without thunder wave, essentially. And let's just healing wish. I'm go I'm literally going to healing wish just so that I can get the paralysis off freaking Toga Kiss and then is that is that even the best play? I mean it's the only play. <laughs> God I don't this team seems to be good, just freaking go fables. Every freaking where. Let's flinch you. Let's flinch you. Get fully parrot. Flinch, yeah, there we go. Come on, hacks this man out. He wasn't taking no chances. Uh, air slash, just the damage, just, it's just, it's just, it's just, just the damage it needs to, essentially. Um, gonna go on the Venusaur, because if he goes into freaking Clefable after that, that's perfectly fine, because if, if we're both paralyzed and at the damage he's at, I can switch. So, Beedrill's gonna come out, and we already know this Beedrill's trying to freaking U-turn. Or it's gonna do that, that can also be a thing. Uh, let's just go Gyarados. Because if we have any shot of winning this battle, it's from Gyarados sweeping right now. So let's use Dragon Dance, as he's gonna freaking get the hell out of there. He's getting the freaking hell out of the dodge right now, going in the Starmie like this. And I'm gonna try to sub up. I'm not gonna. I'm not sure what he might do. So Thunderbolt. Okay. Okay. Let's see, let's go with the bounce. And if this thing hits and takes him out, then we're good. If not, then I mean. I tried, I have no regrets. So let's go. He's gonna switch on the Magnazone to take the bounce. If he's scarfed, I should still outspeed with this. Let's do sub. He might flash cannon or something like that. Thunderbolt? No. Not so lucky over here. Let's use Waterfall, get rid of this freaking Magnazone. Magnazone is now down, which he's gonna switch into now. Kirum B. And. I don't have anything for this. Let's use Bounce. He's probably fast because he's Scarfed. Yep, and GG. 
So this man had Scarf, freaking Magnus Zone, and Scarf Kiram B. God dang. Okay, that's one win, two losses. Let's try another game. One win with two losses. Let's try one last time and see what can we go. Can we go two for two or are we going to go three for one? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm liking how this team play. Okay, finally. A team without freaking Cofable. A team without freaking Kiram B. I have a chance now. Jesus. You don't even know how annoying that was. That was starting to get a little bit annoying that every single team we were fighting was having freaking Clefable. I mean, Clefable's a good Pokemon. I can't even, like, say anything about why he wouldn't have Clefable. Uh, what's this guy? Sprite. This guy has, like, a cousin. Sprite Mega Gallade? And... Am I battling someone important over here? I think I'm battling someone important over here. Hmm. Guess we're just gonna lead off with freaking Venusaur. So, you know, let's lead off with Weavile. If he, if he, if he leads... Like, Rotom Watch will just hard switch into freaking. What's his face? Latios! We're faster than you, and we get a free knockoff off, and you're weak to knockoff. You will take a ton. You will die. You don't want to be knocked off. You don't want to be knocked off. And you definitely don't want to be knocked off. So, <laughs> knockoff is perfectly free right now. It's a stab knockoff from a Life Orb and Weavile. You can do your worst. Send him whatever you want. We're perfectly fine. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I also want to know. We're at 26 minutes right now, so. Depending on how long this battle takes, we might do one more battle. If not, then this will be the last battle of the freaking showdown session. So, knock off. 26%. Your shed shell. Oh, excuse me. Moi, shed shell. Why are you holding a shed shell? Like, I'm not judging. I just want to know what, what. Like, is this specifically just so. I actually have no idea why you'd be running a shed shell on this thing. Uh, let's see. We should run Damage Calyx. Yeah, you can see my showdown. Let's see, Damage Calyx. I haven't used Damage Calyx this whole freaking showdown session. I should have done a showdown session without Damage Calyx. Togi Kiss. Let's pretend you're bulky Togi Kiss. Jolly combination. Okay, yeah, you're you are dying from an ice punch. Guess yeah, you're gonna switch into Rotom Wash. Just twenty percent. Gotta get the freeze. Nah, we're never gonna get the freeze like that. Never gonna get the freeze like that. Let's go into Thickums. If you burn me, that's fine. If you Volt Switch, that's fine. Actually, it's not fine if you Volt Switch because then we're looking at a freaking Mega Medicham coming out. Actually, if, that's, if that happened, I'd be fine. So I just switch into the freaking Guard and let this thing damage, do the damage to itself. Will O Wisp, that's fine. Will O Wisp me. Get that burn off on me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um. Freaking Jirachi's looking pretty safe for him right now. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what he do because this thing doesn't want to take. All the things on this team don't want to take a Giga Drain is the thing. And Jirachi would be a. Per I'm gonna predict the Jirachi. A. Hey. Hot in power fire. This is that whole twenty percent. Fat teams. Fat. It's not even that fat of a team. That's a freaking Weavile on it. Um, <laughs> that's my justification. Ezla yeah, Weavile on. That's not a bad team. I mean, this guy has team as a freaking Pokemon Rotom Wash and Tyranitar. That's a pretty fat team itself. But then again, I do have Mega Venus or Gyarados, Sladius, Gar Meg uh, Bulky Garchomp. It's not a fat team. It's just bulky. Who's Esper? This is not even the guy on battle. He just is. When did he join? Okay, I joined. This guy joined. Blah 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 Esper joined fat teams. I just got donked. Let's get our stealth rocks up. Yes, he's gonna go into Toga Kiss. So, I don't have anything for Toga Kiss. Like, I don't even have anything that's super effective against the Toga Kiss. That's except other than the Ice Punch. So, let's go in with our own Togi. Our own Togi. He's gonna air slash me do 26%. Dang. I'm scared. I don't want that. Let's use Roost. Get our free Roost. I should have Thunder Wave there. Oh my lord, I should have Thunder Wave there. Um. Honestly, Garchomp. Just going straight back into Garchomp still a freaking safe place. If you use the Iron Hair or something like that. Wish. Let's see here. <laughs> Dragon Tail, even though he's gonna go into Togus. I knew he was gonna go into Togus, but there's nothing I can really do about that. 
Okay, he's at back at full. Let's see. What do I even do? Oh, oh. I mean, I think we're both asked down by Buddy Togekisses. Togekisses is an odd Pokemon. Fairy Flying type is pretty good typing, to be honest. MOG music here. Music's off. <laughs> I don't even have music on. Yes, he's got a nasty plot. No, 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 no. You can't do that to me, man. You can't be doing the Thunder Wave. Air Slash, don't flinch me. Don't flinch me. No. 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 Oh, gosh. Thunder Wave is a speed tie. Get paralyzed. Oh, no. No paralysis for me. If he's freaking. see here. Togekiss. He's probably special attacking, so I mean, I'm okay with using Ice Punch. As he might go in the road and wash, but I mean, it's like, it's like, um, self rocks plus 20%. He's at 93% right now as well, so. Outskilled. God dang it. What's that even mean? Outskilled. We had a speed tie. Ice Punch doesn't kill. No. Get barely. Oh, no. Okay. 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 I can't even set up because freaking Rotom Wash is still a thing. Uh. Dang, we're, we're, we're not doing good this battle. I'm so rusty. Let's go. Let's get Slide Shock off. Hopefully, take this thing out. He's not going to switch out. Togekiss does go down. That's nice. He's going to go into Tyranitar. Tyranitar. I'm a Defog. It hurts my team more than it hurts his. He's probably going to Pursuit. Yep. I'm okay with him trying to Pursuit. I hate that he has Rodan Watch, because if he did not have Rodan Watch, Gyarados would really set up on this thing and sweep. Healing Wish. Pursuit. Nope. I'm still going to freaking try to set up. I don't even care. I will still try to set up on this thing. Substitute. If he goes in the road and wash and uses like defog, I'm uh, not defog volts. Basically, what I'm gonna have to try to do with that road and wash is every single time he goes into it, I'm gonna have to sub because he's probably his only attack move on that road and wash is probably bolt switch. To be honest, and I'm gonna get my health back each turn with leftovers. So, I mean, this could happen. This Gyarados could do the work. Let's go, Gyarados! Come on, Dragon Dance! Let's go! Come on, Gyarados! Bolt switch. Still a plus one though. We still have plus one. We still living out here. I mean, Tyranitar could come back in. Latios. Latios. I'm a sub just in case he wants a Draco. If he used to side shock, then that kind of sucks. Draco. Hey. Hey, we living. Okay. So now we're going to use Bounce. As he goes into the Tyranitar, that sucks. I wish I freaking put another substitute up there. So now I'm faster, I'm gonna come down and gonna get hit with like a stone edge or something. This actually sucks. Get paralyzed. Crunch. No! That did the damage it had to. That did the damage it had to. That sucks. If I used another substitute there, I would have been in such a good freaking position because I would have been able to take that thing out of the freaking waterfall and then. Oh. Uh... Oh. Uh... I still rocks up on the field? No, it's not rocks up on the field right now. I don't set up on anything though, is the thing. Like, if I set up on anything, I would do this again, but we, I don't set up on anything at all, period. No, nada. Let's use balance. Hopefully, he doesn't have freaking fake out. GG. Okay, so this team's not working out as well as I thought. Let's try Garadoom. I, I want to I get another win. So, okay, Scizor, Latios, Keldeo, Tyranitar, Garchomp, and Thunderous. I swear I'm a good player. <laughs> Let's um, lead off with Diggers B as he's going to lead off with his Garchamp. And let's just freaking use Earthquake. Do the damage I have to do. Is he going to use Earthquake to his damage he has to do? I was not honestly expecting that. I was not expecting that at all. No, sir, Rebop. No. No. Uh, let's go into Celebi. I was legitimately winning these battles before I end up freaking decided to record. And the moment I start to record, I end up like getting all these battles I'm losing to now. That sucks. 
Let me get up these rocks. And now, let me get up this psychic. Let me do the damage I have. Sludge wave? I honestly did not think that thing got sludge wave. Well, that's the way did too much. I gotta go with the dragalgy. Dragalgy. Oh, Mmm, yummy sludge. Take these toxic spikes though. I know he has probably defog with Latios or defog with Scizor, but I mean, we gotta do something, right? Gotta do something. And now that there's toxic spikes there, he's probably gonna be forced into freaking Laddie now, so. Let's see here. What do I wanna do though? We go in the Gyarados, get the Intimidate off. He's gonna go straight into Laddie. That sucks. Since now I'm gonna have to take a whole bunch. Oh, that sucks. That actually sucks. That sucks. That sucks. That sucks. Uh, let's go on Skarm. Skarm can pick any hit, essentially. Or not, because you can pick and get a th Actually, you didn't pick it. I had freaking that thingy out, but. Thunderbolt Latios? I'm about these latter gods. God dang, okay. Now do I U-turn? I think I've got a U-turn. I think and I'm U-turning up here. Yeah, I'm U-turning. I knew the Garchomp was coming out, and but at least it's poison now, and I just had to get some damage off. I need to get out of here. 8% that what is happening? This lie, god dang. Um Helm Doom should be able to get a free mega evolution off here. I say should. <laughs> He could be running some kind of speed, bulky guard chomp. Let's go to Mega Houndoom. He's gonna hard switch out into Tyrantar. You let that thing get poisoned as well. I mean, that's the whole reason those top spikes are up there. Just get the poison off on everything. Tyrantar is gonna take some damage. I'm, I'm, the Mega Venusaur team probably needs a little bit more work, but let's see here. What can I do? Oh yeah, Skarmory's freaking dead now. It's so lame. That is actually so lame. Let's go sell a bean and freaking fodder you off, because you did what you had to and you missed the stone edge, which is great, because now Celebi gets to live another day unless you're freaking scarfed. So let's just go with Giga Drain. Oh, he is scarfed. That's that that sucks. At least he's poisoned, so I mean that's a that's a start. That's a start, I guess. <laughs> He still has his guard jump, though. I mean, that kind of sucks. I don't think he'd go into it. I use Earthquake. He'd, prob he'd probably want to go into, like, Thunder or something, maybe. I'm not sure. Do I even live? Yeah, I barely live. Okay. So let's just use Return, do the damage he has to do to the guard shop. He doesn't switch it, add anything in, or if he wants to let that thing die, that's perfectly fine. I. I don't even know, man. I'm losing a lot. <laughs> Garchomp does come out. I could have freaking earthquaked and that would have been fine, but he would have been Latios after that anyway. So Garchomp does go down, unfortunately, for me. Uh, let's see here. I mean, what's Tyrantar at? So that won't take too much longer. Keldeo, Thunders will take some stealth rock damage. We both don't know what's, what's going to happen here, so I'm just going to go into Gyarados. Really hoping he goes in the frickin' Scizor here. Come on. Gladius. That's what he decides to go into. That that sucks for me. Because he's definitely gonna frickin' Thunderbolt here. So he's not gonna be gonna defog. So let's just... Let's DD on the half chance he chokes. But nah. No. No choking on the opponent's side. I lost again. How many losses was this, this match? It's like four losses? Like. Jesus. How long has this freaking life been going on? 38 minutes? Yeah, we're definitely ending it after this, but why did I. Dang. I lost a lot. <laughs> I don't like that. I only won one battle, and that was the first. Then I lost everything else out of that. What the hell? I'm not happy with this outcome. I mean, I wasn't like making plays or anything, but a lot of them didn't wasn't in like position to make plays. Dark Pulse. I mean, if you're a Mega Scizor, then Fire Blast should do the trick for you. I don't know why Scizor was your Pokemon to play. I would have put him in the Keldeo myself. Mega Scizor, Bullet Punch. I can take a Bullet Punch, Fire Blast, and Mega Scizor does go down. 
There's no chance I can win this. I have freaking Mega Houndoom and Dragology against a team of like the biggest OU mons ever. Freaking Thunderous, Keldeo, Latios, like in Stealth Roger up. So my freaking what's his face Houndoom can only come in one more time, assuming I don't take any more damage. Which I mean, I'm gonna have to take more damage. So Thunderous Therian comes out. If this thing's not Scarf, then I'll outspeed it. But it's more than likely looking at his team, this thing's definitely freaking Scarf. So. Do I take that chance though? I mean, I need. If I'm gonna have any chance whatsoever to win this battle, I need freaking Dragology to have as much health as it can for the freaking Keldeo. So. Stark Pulse, he's, gonna, he's definitely, he's definitely freaking Scarf. So. <laughs> I don't know why I put any thought into that. He was he was scarred from the get go. Latios is gonna come out. GG. God dang it. Jesus Christ! One freaking more battle. I'm gonna go freaking Nido Goddess. Nah. 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 We don't want to go Nido Goddess. That team's not good. I'll I'll flat out admit that team's pretty freaking bad. Let's just don't want. This Togekiss needs to go. Togekiss did nothing for me. This Togekiss did absolutely nothing for me. I'm not. I hate being on the higher ladder because now I'm getting all Clefables. It's not complaint. I, I used Clefable on one of my teams. This team is not Clefable. That's, that's decent. That's a start. He has a Gazon Gyarados. Looking like the Gyarados is Negas too. So let's see here. Kind of try to Skarm. Skarm would be decent for this guy, but. Low kick for you, knock off you, ice for you, low kick for you. Let me just get my freaking rocks up. Because I'm going to have to rather force him to spin or defog or something like that. And rocks up on his side, on his team just looks really freaking good. Because do damage to you, do the damage to you that low kick needs, do the damage to you to break your multi-scale. So yeah, we need rocks up this match. Come on. Come on, we need at least two wins. Come on, I don't care. If we lost like four battles or five battles. Two battles we'll that. Come on. Starmie, he knew I was gonna lead off with this thing. Let's uh, go on with you. It's hard switching the Weeball on an Ice Beam. It's cool. Gets a critical hit. That's fine. It's cool. Uh, this guy doesn't look like he has anything for a freaking knockoff. So, Heatran, I don't count that as a thing for knockoff at all. Get up out. And I'm gonna low kick you, cause hopefully you know I don't have that. Skarmory comes out, low kick. Oh, I do need to keep this thing alive though. So it's freaking. What do we do here? Let's go into Garchomp. Is he's gonna get up his spikes? That is fine, I guess. As long as we have the stealth rocks up, I am happier with the outcome. Fire Blast, because the set has Fire Blast on stuff for Feral Thorns and Skarmories as he whirlwinds me out into my Mega Venusaur, which is okay, because I get a free Mega Evolution off plus Hidden Power Fire. So, he still doesn't have too much for Mega Venusaur either. I mean, he can go into his freaking Heatran here. He's going to be the safest play for him, without a doubt. But I need to go with Hidden Power Fire no matter what, so. What's going to happen? Find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. And of course, that doesn't do the work it needs to do, so you must spam Hidden Power Fire. He can roost all he wants. I don't care if he has to go in with Heatran, he can roost all he wants. As long as this freaking scummy doesn't have his sturdy back, it's fine, so. This is what Pokemon is. This is. This is what I record for you guys. Rolling me out because it wasn't working for him, and we get Gyarados, which doesn't even take freaking spikes damage. So I'm free to use Waterfall here. <laughs> use the Waterfall to 25% as he's going to use Roost. Which is now it's definitely working out a lot better for him because freaking shit. It's going with Togekiss because I don't take spike damage from that either. He's going to get his last word of spikes up. I'm just going to Thunder Wave this thing. Because it doesn't have natural clear. Nothing on his team really wants to take a freaking Thunder Wave, to be honest. Thunder Wave that he ran. And let's Air Slash flinch him to death. There's three loads of spikes on my side of the field, but as long as I have my Stealth Rocks up, I don't care, because Levitating, Flying Type, Flying Type, so. Roar. 
puts me into the one Pokemon I really don't want to have out right now. It's probably going to go into Skarmory. Let's, let's just knock off. Take out that Heatran, though. And I have one hit left. <laughs> one hit. Jesus. Jeez, my leaves. Jeez, Louise. Bisharp's gonna come out. I'm gonna take 25% just from going into Garchomp. But that's fine as long as I get to use the Dragon Table, so. Takes 25%. Is he gonna be a Sucker Punch? Okay. Okay, you do that. And. I mean, he has freaking Flying type, Flying type, Flying type, so. He's definitely switching out here. He's gonna go into Skarm, take that Stealth Rock damage, take this Dragon Tail critical hit, take you out into Dragonite. And if, if you want to use Dragon Claw on me, that's up to you, buddy boy. Or if you want to switch out, you want to use Roost. You want to freaking get your shit back together. You want to get your freaking health. Your health. Never Starmies back out. Um, I need Ladius to freaking Healing Wish Full Buster because Full Buster does too much work to his team. And. Mega Venusaur is not doing anything. Who's also I thought Mega Venusaur gladly? Excuse me, Ice Beam, 24%. As he's taking Life Orb damage, so that's another thing to look forward to. Take Life Orb damage. Take that Life Orb damage. Mega Venusaur can go down. That's perfectly fine. Uh, let's see. Starmie's a threat. Starmie's a flat out threat. Togekiss come out and. What did I, I just, I'm just gonna fire off a Thunder Wave. So I don't. I'm not sure what he wants to do. He he might even think I'm Scar. I really doubt he would think I'm Scar because he seen me use Thunder Wave. But he's taking his sweet time. I think he's choosing what he wants to be freaking Thunder Wave. Goes in the Dragonite. That get Thunder Wave might have a Lumberry, but that's just Thunder Wave again. It's also weird to see Dragonite with Roost. Bisharp's gonna come out. I mean, okay, okay, okay. Let's use Air Slash. Let's go over the flinches. 20% flinched. Let's go with the Air Slash again. 20% flinched. Oh boy. Let's go. Let's go again. 20, 22%. Swords Dance. Okay. Now let's use Dazzling Gleam and take him out. Okay. <laughs> there goes Bisharp. I'm not sure what he was doing there. I'm not sure why he would, he would use freaking... Why did you even go for a freaking sword stance there? I mean, okay, okay. Rapid spin, take away the stealth rocks. You can't do that to me, no. Starmie goes down. It's looking a little bit better for me now, though. I mean, those spikes are annoying, but not really. At the same time, it's flying type, flying type, flying type. I really don't care about Garchomp at this point. Gyarados is gonna come out. I am 148 speed, 284 speed. 150 speed, 257. Thunder Wave. <laughs> you need to get Thunder Waved. And I'm faster than you, so I'm sorry. Get Air Slash flinched to death. You gotta get Air Slash flinched to death, boy. You let your Gyarados get in freaking Thunder Wave. You get that Air Slash going on. Get that flinch. I, I'm, I'm taking it back. Maybe this team does really does need freaking Togekiss, because Togekiss is putting in the upload nothing but the finest of work. Flinched again. Just, just get these flinches. Take this Dazzle Gleam. <laughs> and there goes a Gyarados. So I mean, he 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 got the rabbit spin off. I'm not sure how much how important that was to him, but he did get it off. Dragonite's gonna come out now, and I'm just gonna freaking spam Dazzle Gleam. Take it down to 22%. As he's gonna Thunder Wave me. So this is a bulky Dragonite. Okay. Okay. Let's get the Thunder Wave off on you. Oh, no, he's gonna go on the Skarm, actually. That's fine as well. That is perfectly fine. And I'm thinking we're gonna go into freaking Wendy here and Deep Fog. And we get the fully paired. So there we go. We're getting some cuts now. We're getting some breaks. We're gonna make some lucky breaks. Deep Fog into Gyarados. Okay, because I got a Parados. And they're all for you. <laughs> I don't know what I was going on about there. Okay, so... I'm a Dragon Dance here. If he's fully paralyzed, I might get that Para Flinch action with the Waterfalls going. Let's get the Para Flinch going. Waterfall. Let's go. Come on. Para Flinch. 40%. Counter. Okay. Let's go. Um. 
I really don't care if he wants to do that again. I'm just gonna go over the waterfall again and do the damage I need to do to him. Okay. 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 It's DD again. He's gonna counter. He's gonna counter this time. He's gonna counter. I know you're gonna counter. Spikes. God dang it. Freaking ladder lords. Let's get waterfalls. Critical hit gone. <laughs> oh, playing with hacks. I love it. I love it. GG. And that is gonna be where we end off this live. So if you enjoyed this live, I if you want to leave a like, that's perfectly fine. I lost like three or four times and one only twice so this is definitely a loss in my opinion um i don't even care i was having fun with this team i'll do some editing for it i definitely think um the team itself was it's not a bad team at all i think the team itself is pretty good it just has a couple of glary weaknesses in the form of clefable because clefable is an annoying pokemon now like even with mega venusaur like all you have to do is switch out to a Pokemon like a Steel type, and then what am I supposed to do with it? So, maybe we'll switch Mega Venusaur for a different Pokemon. I'm not sure. I was with the other team I was using, the Mega Houndoom team. Celebi and Gyarados put it on a very good combination because Celebi could use Thunder Wave on everything, paralyze everything, and get Stealth Rocks up as well. And then Gyarados would have Stealth Rocks up on the side of the field, so everything would be taking 20 um, Stealth Rocks damage as, Stealth, as Gyarados could substitute and bounce up. So yeah, um, you'll probably see me using another team very similar to like this in the next lives. I am having so much fun using Gyarados, it's not even funny. Gyarados with Bounce, Substitute, and Dragon Dance is probably the most fun pull one to me right now. So you'll probably see me using that in a different set. Um, you'll definitely see, you probably won't see this team again because something has, something has to happen with this team. It's not, it was looking pretty good on paper, not looking too good in action, so... <laughs> Kiram B might need to be something I have to look out for, and Cable something something I need to look out for. Um, I just, I just need to look out for the things that are top tier right now because I didn't know Kieran B was used, being used that often anymore. I didn't know it was that popular. I knew I didn't see one Hoopa unbound this whole lie. That's insane. I just realized that now. So we didn't see any Hoopas, but we saw Kieran B's, which I mean, that's they're both powerhouses. And then we saw Clefables like half the time, which I mean, to be understand, Clefable is a really good Pokemon. And as much as I hate to admit it, every team can basically benefit from Clefable at this point. Um, but yeah, that's my analysis for this team. I'll throw another another team. I didn't put any serious on to making this team. I just put through some Pokemon I want to use together. Like Togekiss. I really want to use Togekiss. I really definitely want to use Gyarados. I definitely want to use Garchomp. And they all came together. They work decently well together, but they definitely could be better work put in. So, like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed, but you don't have to, if you don't want to. I'm just happy that we're back together uploading videos, and you guys can enjoy them. And this one's definitely a longer session, probably the longest video on this channel, because I usually don't do hour-long videos. Let's see how long we're this. We're at 52 minutes. Yeah, this is like an hour-long video. I don't do hour-long videos, so... I do hope you enjoyed. In Care Care Studio, I'm just happy to be back for you guys and uploading again. And I'm out.